Hey everyone. So in this video, what we're going to take a look at is list views. Uh, list views are really important for uh, any mobile application for getting data uh, to the user end. Uh, you'll, it's, you'll more than likely when you use a, an application, you're, you're going to see some type of list view. Uh, so it's really good uh, idea to have a good grasp on list views. So this subject should be put into a few parts at least. Uh, the first one we're going to take a look at is a really simple list view, just creating a list view and putting it and getting it on screen. Um, here's an example of how it's going to look once we're done with this video. So you can see just a simple list view, click on it, highlight, just some names. So let's get started on that. All right. Let's exit out of this application. All right, so go ahead and start up Visual Studio or Xamarin Studio. New project. Android, a blank app. Uh, call it List View Tutorial. Okay. And if you're familiar with doing list views in uh, with Java, you'll feel right at home here. Xamarin does it a lot of the same way. Uh, just uh, it's when it comes to like the click events is when it gets a little different. But uh, the fundamentals of creating the list view is uh, pretty, pretty similar to the way it's done in Java. So the first thing you want to do is go into your main Android XML file, which is going to be in resources, layout, and main. So go ahead and double click that. This is going to be our designer for the activity that's going to launch, which right now is the main launcher and we can tell by that from looking at this. This is how Xamarin uh, declares the main launcher. So go back over to here and we can get rid of this button. Don't need it. And we can code this out but it's pretty simple to just drag it over um, and then in your toolbox if you don't have the toolbox open right now uh, in Visual Studio you can go into view. It'll be right here toolbox or if it's not there it could be in the here in the other windows tab okay so let's go ahead and find the list view which is right here go ahead and click on it drag it over and you see that it populated a list view inside of our code uh, we can go ahead and delete this we don't need it um, and we want the height to match the parents so Basically that's saying we want it to take up this whole space width wise and we want the list view to take up the whole space height wise as well. So basically the whole screen in this case right now. And we'll change the ID to something a little less generic like uh, my list view. And for that, that is all that we need to do. All right, so come back into your main activity. And what you wanna first do is uh, create a an, an array you can say of uh, strings which are in this case is going to be names so uh, but we will do instead of a an array we'll do a list which is really really simple to use a lot more simple to use than an array and what we first need to do is import it in so this is dot net system collections dot generic will allow you to use the uh, list data type. So the string is just saying that it's giving a generic that you know this is gonna hold strings uh, and then we'll call it just items. Now that we have that, what we could do is go into here and we wanna populate those items. First instantiate it, go to new list. So now we have our items and we need to fill it with some strings, which in this case are going to be names. And it's pretty simple. Uh, m items dot add will add it and it wants a string. So that's when we can do, um, you know, Bob, Tom, and Jim. So now that we got our names. And we'll get rid of this button right here. Don't need that stuff right now. Okay, so now that we got our names, what well, the next thing you want to do is you want to get our list view. And those of you who are familiar with Java, it's pretty similar. It's actually almost identical. Uh, you get a list view, and 
the ID that it was over here, which is very important, is what you're going to want to use to get a reference of this list view in the code. So what you first want to do is and then you do a find view by ID and the generic feed it, uh, that it tell that it's going to be a list view resource to ID. That's what is a little different. Uh, Java is lazy to our ID uh, for Xamarin. You're going to use resource dot ID dot. And then notice that sometimes there's in, in the IntelliSense, there's not my list view ID. Uh, that a lot of times happens because uh, it just needs to compile or rebuild itself. Um, so you can, you can do it right here. It's not going to hurt, but it might give you an error. It doesn't recognize it yet. So the only thing uh, that you have to do really, what mostly fixes is just rebuild it. And then it should recognize this. And sure enough, it did. So if you see now it's in your IntelliSense. Okay. So now that we have our list view, we have our names. What you want to do is you need to, um, have something that's called an array adapter. And an array adapter is a good way to make really generic lists like the one you saw in the beginning of this video. So what you want to do is an array adapter of strings for the generic, and we'll just name it adapter, instantiate it. Oops. Okay. So we have an adapter and oops. So in the constructor, you see that there's a few different seven constructors. But uh, what we can do is just look at this one and see, okay, it's gonna need a context, which we can just send it this, this activity. Since activity is a subclass of context, this will be uh, applicable, no problem at all. So the next thing needs the resource, which is this guy. This is one we're gonna use. And the resource is, uh, right now, we're not gonna make our own, we're just gonna use one of the uh, built-in ones. So. How you get that is Android resource layout and I believe it's called simple list item one is what we're going to use. So this is just the, this represents simple list item right now is representing each row in the list view. So let's do that. Um, the next video we'll, we'll create our own simple list item so then we can start customizing our list views. But for right now, just enter that in. And the next thing you need is just your uh, names. You need to know the names. And that will do. Okay, so now you got our adapter, we got our names. And let's bring that up to the top, of course. Okay, so let's do that. Sorry about that. And now that we have that, all we need to do is take our list view. And the property has a property of an adapter. And what Xamarin does a lot is uh, Java did a lot of uh, set adapter or get adapter and uh, .NET uses something that's called properties, which are essentially the same thing. They're fields with methods that with their property is basically a field that can uh, that can execute code within it, if that makes sense. Uh, if you're not familiar with it, then take a look at properties for .NET and you'll, you'll start to get a hang of them because Xamarin uses a lot of it. Uh, so that's kind of the, one of the main differences between C Sharp and Java as far as, as far as that is there's not really many get methods or set methods. There's more properties, which are essentially the uh, same thing, but uh, it's a little cleaner way to do things. So just keep that in mind. And when here we'll set the adapter and that should run. Let's try it out. So I got my emulator right here. And this is, this is uh, Xamarin's, the Xamarin Android player. So uh, if you don't have that, just check out Xamarin's emulator. Uh, then you can just download it, check it out. So I'm running the Nexus 4 KitKat right here. And we should be able to just uh, run this guy and be able to see it in action. Okay, so it's building. Once the emulator gets going, it's, uh, it's a lot faster than the normal Google uh, emulators that are really, really slow. So um, I recommend, yeah, downloading one of these and it's, it's a lot faster. 
Um, oh, okay. So what happened was the minimum Android version does not support it. So that's an easy fix. Uh, so if you guys do have that problem, just go ahead and go in your properties, double click that, and then go into your minimum and set it to like 4.0 or something like that. And then, you know, compile at API level 19. And that should fix our problem. So if you guys get that, go ahead and go in properties and then change this to the minimum Android version is what it was complaining about. All right, we'll close that out. Try it one more time. All right, there it is. So just like you've seen in the beginning of the video, Bob, Tom, Jim, uh, I even happened to use the same names, I think. So uh, there it is, um, really basic. Uh, if it was longer than this, the list view would scroll just like you would expect from a list view. And uh, there you have it. So hope you enjoyed it. And next video, we, we should take a look at uh, implementing click methods on this list view. So if someone clicks it, uh, writing code and, and events and, and wiring up an event to handle that click method. So stay tuned. Thanks guys.